Hey friends, it's AJ, the minimalist leader, and I'm coming to you today from my tiny house, the Joy Box. Woo! And I'm on a mission to shift the way we think about success in business and life, because I truly believe that rather than needing to make big, radical, drastic changes in life in order to be successful, we can make tiny, incremental, little, sustainable changes and shifts, 10 degree shifts I call them, in all areas of our life. And we will find that it's stickier, it stays with us, and it's more repeatable and easier to do than thinking about any way big things. And today my tip for you, my 10 degree shift, is to swap one coffee a day with a meditation. Okay, whoa, all of you coffee lovers out there and coffee connoisseurs going, whoa, can't change my coffee, right? Well, I'm just suggesting one a day and I'm suggesting it for good reason. And also I'm suggesting maybe if you're falling prey to having the afternoon coffee, then that's the one that you should be swapping out. So I'm not suggesting if you've got a daily practice um, or a morning ritual of having your coffee, that's okay. But let's look at the afternoon one in particular. Um, and if you're super keen, you might make a 20 degree shift and swap two out if you're up to two coffees a day. So why would we want to swap our coffee and our caffeine for a meditation? Well, the deal is that research shows that coffee gives you this false peak, this high and this spike. But usually, even though coffee stays in our system for kind of eight hours or something, the high and the peak we get and the feeling of productivity that we think we're getting that helps us push through that afternoon slump, it actually drops off pretty quick. And so we often have a bit of a crash after it, a bit like if we fuel ourselves with chocolate in the afternoon as well. Whereas meditation, on the other hand, has a lingering effect. And so we can just do a little meditation and it will support us throughout the rest of the day and the evening. And not only that, it helps clear out old stresses that are in our system. Not just the stresses that have happened today, but ones that have happened long ago. Start clearing out when we do meditation. So meditation gives you a genuine recharge and boost, not a false high, and it gives you a sustainable long-term one. So the effects of it have much more um, benefit than coffee does. And so it's kind of like if you think of it like um, some water. So if you imagine water bubbling down in a river and it's all bubbling, bubbling, and all you see is white water, that's what our busy minds can often be like. But when we've done a meditation, our mind minds get stiller and calmer. It's not that we clear our mind because that's not the point of meditation. That's the point of mindfulness. Meditation is about training the brain and supporting it. And so when we do that, it becomes more like the still calm deep waters. And it enables us to go on with the day in a creative way. We can have um, more ideas, we can actually access more creativity because like the still pond, we can actually see the little rocks and the pebbles in the bottom, unlike a bubbling brook. So that's my tip for today. The 10 degree shift that you could try to make in your life is to swap one coffee each day for a 10 or a five minute meditation. I mean, come on, seriously, it takes five minutes at least to order a coffee, doesn't it? If you're going somewhere to a cafe or a couple of minutes to make it, and then it takes a few minutes to drink it. If you really can't replace it, then at least stop and pause and have a two or three minute meditation before you sip the coffee, okay? That's my tip for today. Remember, it is possible to do less and achieve more. You can do magic. Bye from the tiny house, the joy box. Au revoir.